you believe it's just 12 days away? The Christmas holiday is just around the corner. Many of us are still trying to get that perfect tree to celebrate. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler shows us how to pick out and maintain that perfect tree so it does not become a fire risk. Every good Christmas tree needs to be freshly cut at the base. It's the route to having a hydrated tree when you bring it home. Keep it filled with water, especially the first week. It's going to drink a lot of water. Eyewitness News stopped by Dot and Dell's Christmas tree lot along Kaiser Avenue in Scranton. Its trees are freshly pre-cut and sold within one to three days. We go two, three hours away, go down, load our trucks, come back, unload, and there they go. There are many pop-up shops that sell Christmas trees by the side of the road. What you don't know is how long ago the trees were cut, which can pose a threat once you get it set up and decorated. The thing with cut trees is they dry out, and when they dry out, um, they, they can burn very, very quickly, which is what, what becomes the big concern. Sean Flynn, fire prevention officer for the Scranton Fire Department, says Christmas tree safety boils down to age and the amount of moisture in a tree. In this National Institute of Standards and Technology video, it demonstrates the difference. A heating source, candle, old or large Christmas bulbs, too many strings connected are ways a tree can go up in smoke. If you're starting to lose a lot of needles, it's, if, it's, if it's starting to obviously dry out, you want to make sure you get rid of the tree. For the tree stand on Kaiser Avenue, customers have been happy with their product for 93 seasons. In Scranton, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. Officer Flynn recommends before purchasing a pre-cut Christmas tree, ask when it was cut down. If you can't get the answer, check the tree for dead needles or move the branches. If they have a spring-like bounce, you know you picked a fresh Christmas tree.